Hello and welcome to Firefighting in Canada this week. It's Thursday, June 30th, 2016. Today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. Representatives from the Ontario Office of the Fire Marshal are in Mississauga investigating a fatal explosion that destroyed one house and damaged at least two dozen others. A former fire chief files a wrongful dismissal suit against the city of Penticton. And Chief Jamie Coots shares important takeaways from the response to the wildfire in Fort McMurray. Investigators are trying to determine the cause of a house explosion in Mississauga, Ontario that killed one person and injured nine others on Tuesday. The explosion leveled one home where the unidentified female victim was found and scattered debris across a wide swath of the neighborhood causing minor injuries and damage to nearby houses. As of Wednesday morning, officials said there were no reports of people missing and search dogs had no hits. As many as 30 homes in the area were evacuated after the explosion and residents at about 700 addresses including apartment buildings and townhomes were asked to leave or shelter in place on Tuesday night. Former Fire Chief Wayne Williams is suing the city of Penticton in British Columbia for wrongful dismissal while he was on short-term disability leave for job-related post-traumatic stress disorder. According to news reports, court documents indicate the 35-year veteran was on leave last November when he proposed a retirement date of February 22, 2016. The city agreed. Williams notified the city a month later that he had changed his mind, but he was terminated on February 22 without cause, reasonable notice or pay in lieu of notice. The city has 30 days to respond to the lawsuit. In the July issue of Canadian Firefighter, Lesser Slave Regional Chief Jamie Coots shares his perspective on fighting the Fort McMurray wildfire and outlines key takeaways from the experience. Definitely hot, smoky, dangerous, houses on fire. Um, you know, like I say, just a lot like Slave Lake, but bigger. You know, I think moving forward from Fort McMurray, we're going to take all of the, the things that we saw and learned and, and try and push them forward. Mandatory evacuations need to mean mandatory evacuations. There can't be people left behind uh, that we have to help take care of and look after and watch out for. Uh, the RCMP need to have the legislation to enforce full evacuation. Definitely need to look at uh, unified command of these types of events with forestry and the fire services that are there so that you know, it's not two separate teams. It's one team right from the start, right from, you know, the word go where we're working together and, and going together. And then finally, I would say, like, for especially for the fire service and all the first responders that are there, we need to follow up with all the healthcare pieces. Like, we, you know, we all breathe in a lot of bad stuff. Uh, we work too much, too long. Uh, you know, you don't eat properly. And you need to make sure that the people are good to go back home and, and go to work and that their health is protected. Thanks, Chief. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, VFIS of Canada, a division of CBIS Incorporated. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.